In May of this year, a petition to repeal the ban on men of military age appeared on an online petition site. The author stated that this ban generates corruption schemes at the border and does not help the state in any way. He is sure that it is necessary to replenish the AFU reserves with volunteers, and the rest can be let go. The petition received the required number of votes for consideration in three days and the president of Ukraine has already responded. According to him, the issue of the men's leaving is decided in the cabinet, not by the president personally. He entrusted Prime Minister Denis Schmeigel to examine the issues raised in the petition. I asked the Prime Minister to examine the proposals outlined in the petition comprehensively, paying special attention to the observance of the constitutional rights of citizens, prevention and detection of possible corruption-related crimes, including among border guards and territorial recruitment officers, and social support centers. The author will be informed about the results of the consideration of the mentioned issues, replied Zelensky. Also, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that he was not ready to beg Moscow for peace. I am not ready to demand the independence of our state. It's already ours, he said, addressing students and professors at British universities via video. Asked about possible peace talks, Zelensky said, over the years of my presidency I realized that any conflict must end at the negotiating table. I understand that diplomacy can save people, but the head of the Kremlin does not understand that, he said. In addition, the Ukrainian president urged not to leave his country in a gray zone, with his candidacy for EU membership ahead of the summit which will decide on his candidacy. The first thing to do is to finally eliminate this gray zone, Volodymyr Zelensky said via video during the speech at the 2022 Copenhagen Democracy Summit. In the coming weeks, the European Union may take a historic step that will show that the words about the Ukrainian people belonging to the European family are not in vain, he added. Zelensky said he wonders why some member states still won't allow Ukraine to unite and terminate channels with Russia. Why, when polls show that 71% of Europeans believe Ukraine is part of the European family, there are still political skeptics unwilling to let us join the European Union? The European system could lose if words are not followed by deeds, Zelensky said. If Ukraine is granted candidate status, it will embark on a potentially multi-year process of negotiations and reforms that will be required before Ukraine can officially join the European Union.